Okay, uh, let's look at uh, separable equations, right? So separable equation is the different equation of the form dy over dx is equal to some function of x over some function of y, right? So the reason why this is called separable equation is that, that we can separate uh, the variable x and y. So we can put uh, all the y's, for example, on the left hand side and all the x's on the right hand side, right? So let's do that. Right, so first uh, we can just uh, simply uh, multiply both sides by f of y. Right, so you will get uh, f of y times dy over dx, right, which is equal to, right, just uh, g of x. Right. The next step would be, I'm going to go ahead and do it here. We're going to integrate it with respect to x, right? So we put the integral sign and we put dx at the end and we put the integral sign here and put dx here, right? Then we can clean up a little bit. So you have a dx up here and a dx here, right? So you can see that this is an integral of f of y with respect to y. Right hand side is the integral of a g of x with respect to x, right? So let's use the standard notation. So I'm going to use a capital F for, for an antiderivative of a little f of y and a capital G for an antiderivative of a little g of x, right? So if take the antiderivative, so antiderivative is going to be f, capital F, of y on the left hand side which is equal to uh, capital G of x and you have a plus some constant because we might have a constant here all right so you can see that the solution is y so this is written uh, kind of uh, uh, implicitly but uh, this equation described the solution of this different equation up here Right, so let's uh, apply the, these steps to this uh, concrete example, problem number 20. Right, so equation is dy over dx is equal to 3x squared times uh, quantity y squared plus 1. Then initial condition is y of 0 is equal to 1. So when x equals 0, y equals 1. Right, so let's do that. Right, so first step would be uh, I would um, divide through by uh, quantity y squared plus 1. Right, so that way you will get uh, 1 over y squared plus 1. And we still have dy over dx and uh, is equal to right and maybe I should say is equal to right you're just gonna get uh, 3 uh, x squared right then we're gonna uh, integrate with respect to x as before so we put the integral sign and the dx and we have an integral sign and dx right make sure to do the same thing to both sides otherwise we're gonna violate this uh, equation all right, and then we can clean up dx on top and dx on the bottom, cancel each other out. Then you would have antiderivative of 1 over y squared plus 1 with respect to y. And uh, luckily, we actually know that antiderivative. Antiderivative of that is arctangent. So it's arctangent of y, right, on the left is equal to on the right hand side this is an easy power rule so uh, antiderivative of 3x squared would be x cubed right then we would put the plus some constant c right then uh, we can figure out uh, the value of c by using this initial condition here so we look at the y oh actually before we do that maybe um we can rewrite this a bit. Uh, we can take the tangent of both sides. 
then we can actually write the isolate y. So we have an explicit formula for y. So it's a take the tangent of both sides. Then you get y because it's an arc tangent is inverse. So you have a tangent of quantity x cubed plus some constant c. Right? Now we can use the uh, initial value condition, initial condition. So you have, we look at uh, y of zero, right? So plug in zero, so you have a tangent of zero cubed is zero plus c. So it's just gonna be a tangent of c. So this is supposed to be equal to one, right? Then you have to think about, okay, uh, what angle makes tangent uh, equal to one? So we know that the tan C is going to be angle pi over four, All right? So therefore, we have a complete formula for the particular solution, y, so this is equal to, All right, tangent of uh, x cubed plus pi over four. Right, so this is the solution, particular solution of the uh, initial value problem. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.